Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over problem D of the Code Force Global Round 8, uh, the N or N square sum. Um, so I'm, I'm doing this as a little bit of an experiment. Let me know what you think about the format. Um, but basically, I'm doing only this problem because I like this problem. <laughs> but the idea is that, um, yeah, uh, so the idea is that given two numbers, well, I mean, you have one number, you can't do anything about it. But given two numbers, how do you, uh, what does this operation mean, right? So this operation basically means that, um, well, there are only a couple of cases where, you know, so with this with these bitwise op, um, functions, I recommend that you just, um, because every bit is independent of each other, you can think of it as, you know, just try to enumerate what does it mean, right? So now we can create a truth table, say. Uh, let's say we have a truth table. I'm just using this as a visualization. But let's say you have a truth table of A, B, what the... Um, and then you just have 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, and then 1, 1. And then you have some output of A prime, B prime, right? And here we just set A prime is equal to uh, A and B. Oh. And B prime is equal to A or B, right? So now A, A prime obviously is going to be 0, um, 0, 0, 1. So this, these things just helps, you know, with the visualization, right? So in this case, for every bit, um, and you can do this infinite number of times, so every bit doesn't really matter. So now, given that, you should be able to see that uh, this only matters, uh, with the both zeros, you don't care. With the both ones, you also don't care, because they're, they're it doesn't change anything, right? However, if A and B are different, then essentially what this operation do is move it from A to B, right? Maybe it's slightly bigger. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the intuition that I took to solve this problem. And then there's the other, another bit that you need to, um, another observation or maybe experience that you need for this to solve this problem. Uh, let's say you have two numbers, right? Let's say two and uh, two and four, right? And the binary representation is going to be something uh, maybe choose an odd number, but let's say, yeah. Uh, so this is 11 in binary, and this is 100 in binary, right? And now, because of what we talked about, um, it's going to basically, if we do this operation, you can now visualize it as just, um, this operation is giving the ones from, from one number to another. Uh, and then now, given two numbers, the question is, well, does it make sense to make this operation? And the square function has this thing where um, it's you can do it with greedy, meaning that, okay, so now we're try we have two functions. Uh, we have three here plus four square. And we have another one where we did, did the operation. And in this case, this will be, after you do the operation, you get zero and seven, right? So now, Three, four goes to zero and seven, right? And then you, now you have zero square plus seven square. And if you do the math, this is nine. So this is twenty-five, and this is forty-nine. So clearly, um, greedy works. And that you, uh, whenever you want to give it to the bigger number, give it to the bigger number. Um, so now, given th making those two observations, and you can prove, you know, play around the numbers to prove that, um, but but now, you, now that you have two, these two ob observations, what is the next observation? So the next observation for me was that, okay, let's say you have the biggest number. So now you have like a string of numbers. You know, you have A, uh, A, A1, A2, A3, dot, 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 AN, right? And they're all numbers which you can represent as a binary. And let's say it's sorted because why not? Uh, you could sort it pretty easily. Uh, well, now the question becomes, uh, because basically you can, um, now you, uh, uh, the, so the input is from 0 to 2 to the 20th, right? So that means that at most you're going to have 20 bits um, to think about. And now if you, let's say you have a, 
let's say you do these operations so that you keep on doing it until um, in, in a way you, you do a sorting by every bit right meaning um, so that all the ones goes to the end for every um, for every bit position um, so what does that mean right that means that if there uh, let's say let's just say that now for visualizing that we have three bits right uh, three bits what the um, so now you represent the first number as some uh, you know some some uh, bit number and and because it is sorted um, you know you can have something like this and then eh, if you just did a naive sorting it could have uh, well, maybe not this one, but something like that, right? Where, um, yeah. Mm, I just say so. This is some like randomly sorted number, right? Um, but now, because of what we said about greedy, we all uh, and these are by the way, these are vertically numbers. So that's number one. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. And now, uh. You know, now we, as we said, we want to be greedy because if we look at any two numbers. Let's just say this number, which is three, and this number, which is seven. We always want to move this one to here, and the one, the one in the middle doesn't change, and here, right? So we can do this greedily for every bit by moving, by you know, not you don't have to do it physically in code, but you know, re mentally moving it to the back, right? So what does this mean? So this means that this zero goes all the way to the back. Uh, these ones go all the way, you know, replace the zeros and so forth, right? So now you have, now that you shift all the ones to the back, now you have these numbers. Uh, and then now you just have to um, multiply them, uh, square them out and then sum it up because it's now this is zero square, this is zero square as well, this is uh, four, what is it now? It's uh, yeah, two plus four, which is six. This is seven and seven. And then now you just square each of those and then sum it, and that's your answer. Uh, for in terms of implementation, um, you one thing, to, another uh, observation is that now after you quote unquote sorted it by these bits, uh, you, all you need is actually to count. So all you need is uh, knowing that, you know, this is the fourth position or like two to the second position, which is you go to fourth position. Uh, this is the, you know, so forth. Oops. Right, and then now we know that the the three of these, the three of these, the two of these, uh, and then you know it may go either way. Like you know, now we're making up things. This could, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, and we have one of these, right? And this is now obviously 15. But now we just have to go one by one and reconstruct the numbers by itself, having these counts, uh, having these counts, one, three, three, two. So now we construct the first number. Uh, we take a bit from each of these. We get 15 and then we decrement, you know, now we, uh, we add it to the running sum, 15 square, and then you decrement and so forth. Um, let me show my example, I guess. So it would be embarrassing if it uh, fails. Um, <laughs> if it fails, uh, what you might call it, system testing. But yeah, but basically, what I do is that for each input number, and this is in C++, apologies for my Python friends, uh, other fans otherwise. Um, but yeah, but now, basically, for each number, we have a, I, I did a max number of digits to 22, but it should only goes up to 20 but we just see whether uh, for each number we break it down to its binary component and then we keep track of a count of that binary component uh, and then at the, and then putting back together we just do we reset for each digit we in, if we are able to we add that power of two back and decrement and then at the end the number that we get we just square it and then we get the final answer in the back cool um, yeah so I I made this video because I I don't know I really did enjoy solving this um and yeah hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave a comment let me know what you think about these code force explanation things uh, I don't know if I want to do this long term so that's why you know your feedback will help me determine whether it makes sense for me to do it um and yeah and join the Discord channel to hang out and all that stuff 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.